the, un the unfortunate thing is that any of the replacements that are out there for R410A, which is what we use in air conditioning today, are in a new category kind of known as mildly flammable. Okay, so that may sound a little scary, but let, let's kind of talk through this. So th this chart here on the right is uh, from ASHRAE 34, which talks about refrigerant safety. It's the safety classifications for refrigerants. And historically, there's kind of two digits that, that make up the safety classification for these refrigerants. So the first digit uh, refers to toxicity. So it's either an A or B for, for technically lower toxicity, which a lot of people will kind of call non-toxic, and then B for higher toxicity. So you've got an A or B in that case. And then as we, um, the, the, as we look at the second digit, we've got a one, two, or a three. So a, a one is technically no flame propagation. Now, a lot of people kind of call this non-flammable. But as you'll see in the next screen, we can't actually get these to light. Um, so it's technically no flame propagation. Then we have two for flammable and three for higher flammability or very flammable or almost in some cases even explosive in certain concentrations. So, uh, And then you also notice we've got this, this 2L, okay, so this class 2L. And that's what these new refrigerants kind of fall into. Okay, as these new refrigerants were developed, it was kind of realized, well, they're not as flammable as a two, but they, you know, they are more flammable than a one. So they came up with this new category, this added this L in there for lower flammable.